Hey guys, how are you? It's Dana. I'm coming to you today from my gym. Um, so let's see where I am at. I don't think I'm too much further. I don't really remember where I left off. I think I'm on VLCD 34 today. So, I mean, I am kind of gearing up towards finishing, although I'm so content and so happy where, you know, just with the food and like, I just, I don't mind the redundancy of the small choices you get. Um, I'm a mono eater, so I have no problem eating the same things every day for the most part. I mean, during P2. I mean, I definitely branch out during P3, but I can go for a very long time eating uh, the same thing every day. So VLCD 34, I think, and today's weight is 123.6. Um, I have been battling ovulation demons for the past two days. I think I've talked about this before in a previous vlog, but I just want to mention it again because so many people on the HCG protocol talk about Tom and how Tom affects you. Well, uh, you know, a lot of times people don't think that when they're having those struggles at a different time of the month than Tom and they're stalling or gaining a little or um, they've just got you know, cravings, whatever it may be, please start um, thinking that it could possibly be ovulation because ovulation affects me more so than Tom in terms of all of those things. So um, it's bad. I mean, I had the past couple days, I just had some really, really bad headaches. Um, the first day of it, there definitely were some cravings, but I powered through that and that was fine. Um, tired, headaches, a little bit of bloating, um, what else? And of course, stalling. <laughs> so, or, you know, uh, two to four ounce gains, you know, nothing major. And I know it's fine, but, uh, just something to think about. Okay. Um, so hopefully that's going to end soon. Yesterday was a much better day and I'm hoping today will be that much better. Um, so I'm, you know, I don't really think I, you know, absolutely need to stop at day 40 unless I'm seeing some reason to, but I really would like to get down into, um, you know, my number in my head is 120, but more so importantly, a BMI of, um, maybe like 21. I'm in the 22s, I think. I'm only 5'3", so I'm pretty short. Um, so a weight of, you know, 120 to 122 with a BMI of, um, you know, 21 would be great, but also my body fat. I still have, you know, quite a, I started last November with a body fat of, you know, pretty much 38 to 40%. Um, and today I was at 24%. So that's quite a nice drop and I'm very pleased with that. I would love to see that go into like the 22% body fat range before I finish this round. Um, so that's it. That's my plan. So I'm hoping that in the next week or two, I can definitely start seeing those numbers and then I will, um, migrate over to P3. Back to P3. But I'm still like ecstatic with my injections and any of you who remember I was switching from pellets to injections. It was still the best move ever for me personally and, um, it's just injections work really well for me. So, I feel great on them and no complaints whatsoever. Um, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to share. I'm about to jump on the treadmill and take a little bit of a stroll. Oh, you know what? I've never done a body shot. I'm going to show you. I'll show you my bod. This isn't really a great view, but I guess i got to back up. It's a little sunny, so this is me. Definitely never had much space between my thighs, so that's good. Side. Always had a big butt, so I've lost a lot of that, which is no complaints. Backside. This is me. And um, I like my arms. Why don't you guys tell me, what is your favorite part of your body? I don't even really lift weights, you guys, ever. I mean, once in a while, I'll lift five, eights, tens, and I'll do some bicep curls. But I love my arms. I feel now that I've lost um, so much abnormal fat, you can actually see the definition. So it's like it was there, but it was hiding. So 
not to brag or anything like that, but I'm definitely proud of my arms and I, I don't really work them out. So definitely got a little bit of flab here, but absolutely livable. Not too big of a deal. Anyways, okay, I'm going to go take my little walk on my treadmill and um, that's about it for now. So wish me luck. Hopefully I don't have much more than a week. Um, and I'll be joining all the rest of you on P3 soon. All right. Have a great Sunday. Bye guys.